Okay, I got the uh, motor separated from the gearbox and the switching uh, mechanism taken off. It's just four bolts. Um, show you what that does in a second. But so one rotation of the uh, big gear is the full cycle of this shaft, which just goes in and out a couple of millimeters you can see so whatever that drives and then there's a little clip so this shaft is hollow here and it's got this clip which has four uh, bars two of them go inside two of them go outside on the guides and the switch that I showed you that we took off the top moves this up so that the ends of these bars are past the midpoint of the shaft and then throwing it the other direction pushes it back down so assuming it locks something into that shaft um, so that it can throw it back and forth to get these wires which I'm guessing go to the brushes to get to those, you have to take the case off. And the only way I can see to do that is here, which I don't have a tool. I don't have a socket that can get in there. So I won't be able to do that today. But that's pretty much it. Uh, can see so that center pin is the spot where it latches on to it goes in here like that and then when you throw it and I took this apart it's just three bolts there and it's all really nice machined um, mechanical stuff there's no small parts or springs in there it's all you know big bearings with uh, angled pieces of metal that rock back and forth to make those little locking clicks pretty impressive this thing's definitely expensive whatever it was